as a center for Islamic learning and scholarship. Kano is part of the seven walled cities that made of the House of Fulani Kingdom of Northern Nigeria. The city's walled, built between 1095 and 1134 by the then Emir of Kano Gijimasu, is about 15 meters or 50 feet high, with 15 gates around it, made of, of the Dala Hill, the Kurmi Market, the Emir's Palace, and the 500 year old diapet for the defense of its people. In 1903, when the colonial masters came down to Kano took over power in that particular year. They found that the whole Kano was surrounded with this uh, with, the, with this wall and, so, the and it was closed. There was no exit. So they broke their entry into Kano through this particular gate in 90 years and took over power. The Kano's 15th century famous Kurmi market tells the story of how merchants from around the world traded in Kano for generations. While the city wall and gates helped protect it as a commercial hub of northern Nigeria. As far back as 10th century, this is called Kofar Gedenkaya, where the residents used to pass through these gates to their respective communities. But today, it has been transformed into a modern design. But it appears nature and human activities have not been kind to this wonderful historical site. 80% of the wall is almost gone. Illegal structures erected around it and other encouragement on the city wall seems to have mad its beauty and prevented it from being listed as UNESCO World Heritage Site. The problem is the, the level of encouragement. If you, you, have gone to, you have gone around the city wall and see it yourself, more than 80% of the wall has disappeared. We are managing the remaining 20% for the un unborn generation to come and see. The Kano city wall and gate still retain its social values in terms of individual or collective identity, as the residents still identify themselves in relation to the location of their gates within the city. Reba faced with the competition from imported fabric sold at the popular contemporary textile market, these 500-year-old dye pits now appears almost useless, although it remains popular among locals and tourists. As the residents grappled with the reality of fading glory of Kano City Wall and Gates, there have been attempts by some concerned authorities toward rebuilding some of the gates. The Amias Asian Palace is undergoing rehabilitation. Nevertheless, modern structures are fast replacing the last piece could remind us of its glorious past. It was at the foot of this hill that the Emir of Kano Gijimasu first started building the wall. Visitors still do come here every year for traditional ceremonies, but there are no more guards or gates to protect it, not even a sign to mark it. However, the expectations of most Kano people is that efforts toward preservation, protection, and promotion of Kano city wall and gates needs to be undertaken quickly. Otherwise, history will be harsh and unkind to the present generation of Kano people and indeed northern Nigerians. Idris Jubrin, Channels Television News.